What is going on guys, this is William Mods for you here, and in today's video guys, I am going to be showing you how to make a clean and simple logo for your YouTube channel. Now guys, I do not recommend making this kind of logo if you have over 500 subscribers. This is just for the channels that are starting up on YouTube and need to have a logo just so it doesn't look really bad. And um, to make this, the only thing you need is Photoshop, you can always use some other programs, but mainly i just use photoshop because it's the easiest for me and i just really enjoy photoshop as a program so basically it's really really easy and the end result is really clean and simple and yeah i'm just going to show you how to do it so basically all you have to do is go into file click on new and you're going to name whatever you want i just have entitled i don't know why i have it i just really don't care but anyway um go and take pixels here pixels here then you're going to take width to 800 and height to 800. And uh, now you're going to go back, or at least I'm going to go back because I already have a document. Now once you've done that, you can just click on this thing down here just to unlock it. And once you've done that, go on Google and search up radial background. Now radial background is basically just a background with a circle around it. It literally looks good. Many people use this in their banners and logos, even though they have like a lot of subscribers. It just really looks good, so um, I just downloaded this one and I saved it on my desktop. So all you have to do now is open Photoshop and you can just basically drag it in like this. And once you've done that, you're just going to drag it up here so it matches the screen. Like this. Click here up here at this tool and then click place this file. Now once you've done that, all you have to do now is click the text use the text tool and click in the middle and type whatever your letter want to be so i'm just going to use w because that's my letter so all you have to do now is take it in the middle like that like you can see when he has like all the borders around you will see it's in the middle if you think it's too big you just can click on control and t and basically you can resize it like this but i do not recommend doing that so uh, you you I just recommend clicking on it like a regular, and then taking the the uh, font size down a little bit if you want to do that. But I'm just gonna keep it like this because I think it just looks decent. Now once you've done that, all you have to do now is make a circle. So to make a circle, you're gonna select this tool down here. You're probably gonna be like a rectangle tool on your screen, but just select the eclipse tool. And just make a circle around it like this. Uh, I'm trying. There we go. Like that. And you will see it has this black thing right here. Click on this thing right here. And click on this one. Now we will see is this is like is gone now. So all you have to do now is take this up a little bit. Not too much. We take it like. Like. Um, that's too much. Something like trying to make it there we go. Take it something like that, and then you're gonna just change the color to whatever color you really want. So I'm just gonna select white like that. But it really doesn't look good now because the circle isn't like in the middle. So all I'm going to do now is gonna just drag it down here. It's in the middle now, but it really doesn't look that good. So I'm just gonna take control T take it a little up like that and then I'm gonna apply like okay let's take it I'm just gonna take it like this now it doesn't really that look that good so we're gonna do some effects right now so you're gonna click on your whatever down here now you're gonna get this layer thing up so all you have to do now or I at least I do you can set whatever you want here but just go on stroke click on stroke now take the stroke to around 4 or 5. I'm just going to take 5. Now go on satin. Uh, I really recommend going on satin because this will make the logo pop out a little more. So all you have to do now is you're going to select um, whatever color, as you can see now. It's going to change in the middle here. So use a little blue color here because the black around is pretty blue. So I'm just going to select... Like that's too blue. Let's see. Let's take like something like this, and I can probably take the opacity up a little bit to not too much. Something like that. 
And once you've done that, you can go on either you can go on gradient or you can just go on outer glow. I'm just gonna go on outer glow. Cause you just may want to make the logo pop out a little more. Do not take the noise up too much. Just take this to around 46 or 50. And you can just leave it as it is right here. Now, once you've done that, you can go on basically if you want to have it like this, you can of course have it like this if you want to. You can just mess around with these settings if you really want to. But I'm not going to do that um, just because the, tutor the tutorial will be really long if I'm going to make this 100% pristine. So uh, basically I'm just going to click OK right now. And once you've done that, if you want to make the same effects to your circle or your eclipse, all you have to do is right click on your layer frame right here. Click on copy layer style. Now go to your second layer which is the eclipse one. Right click on it and click on paste layer style. Now once you paste it you will see you have this basically the same effects as the like the letter has and you have it like this. Now I think this one looks a little better like I don't know which one looks better yeah this one. I kind of fail with the circle right here but you get the point it's going to end up something like this. This looks really decent and it's a finished project. It took me around 10 minutes to make and it just really looks good if you have a small channel. And if you want to make or if you want to make a banner, I will probably make a tutorial on how to make a banner. I'm not that good with banners. I'm better with logos. Um, yeah, that's basically the whole tutorial. So if you want to make a logo like this circle is really failed. But if you want to make a logo like this and it really looks good and you want to use it, then make sure to try this tutorial. And yeah, that's pretty much been it. So if you have... Just use one second out of your day to click the like button below. Let's go for around 70 to 80 likes. So let's say 75 likes. If you can hit that, I'll make the tutorial on how to make a YouTube banner. And yeah, that's pretty much been it. So yeah, anyway, this has been weird. Mods for you, and I'm out. Peace.